ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू नंबर्स विद इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट जावा प्रोजेक्ट एंड हेयर वी विल राइट द नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज मैक्स ट्रिपल जीरो click on next and then on finish now our project has been created click on this expansion button and you will see the src folder right click on it go to new and then on class here we will write the name of the class a01 we also need to click the public static void main function because you must know that there must be two things public class and public static void main function which are very necessary for the proper running of the java program okay now here we got our void main function and we will write our code here so we will write int a and int b now int means that we have declared a memory space memory space which has the name a and its data type is integer data type means that only integer type data can be stored inside this variable a like a is a box which 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 can store integer type data like 1 2 3 and like this and same is the case for int b it is the another memory box in which we can store some integer type data now we will write math dot max okay math dot max okay so this is our function it will math dot max a comma b okay so a is equal to 10 and we will write b is equal to 15 so now what is meant by this a is equal to 10 this is equal to is the assignment operator means that now we have put 10 inside a and 15 inside b it doesn't means a is equal to 10 it means that 10 is inside a and 15 is inside this b and math dot max function will find which one is greater either 10 or 15 and it will give us the answer and uh, how we can get the answer we can write system dot print ln or system dot out dot print ln okay so this function will print answer for us that which one is greater okay you do not need to go into the complexities that what's inside in this max okay it you you just need to call this with the help of math class and just it will give us the answer and this print ln function will just print the answer on the screen so we will run it out okay and it gives us 15 if we change it to like 45 again we will run it out and it will give us 45 so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe